Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, I've heard this... of this thing. This is good. Yeah, this is Race the Sun. It seems nice. I like the menu design. Yeah. Um. Okay. Avoid shadows and darkness. Maximum points. Okay. <laughs> Are you not gonna make your own ship? Oh, well, I mean, I'm just gonna start with the main game, the main campaign of Race the Sun, you know? Oh, mm -hmm. rip. Yeah, you are, you're, you're, uh. Okay, so you're just like a super fast solar yeah, you're, sailor. You're a solar powered rocket thing, and you try to outrun the, the rotation of the world. That's very ambitious. You're you're chasing the sunset. You try to do things to gain speed and keep the momentum up. Maybe it's ambitious because points. you died two seconds in. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're good. And of course, like you have all these objects here, but then as the sun gets lower, they're going to start casting shadows, and any time you spend in a shadow, you lose momentum. Oh. Oh. Okay. Because you're solar powered. That's, that's pretty, actually kind of cool. Yeah, that's clever. I like but that. But you can use it as a strategy to like slow down a bit, right? Yes. I would imagine so. And then as you make it to later phases, there's going to be more objects you can collect. Like I, I think that a general flow is that it's one of those unlock more. More mm. kinds of thing as you do better. That was so a poor gonna, time to take a drink. You're gonna level up as you as you make various attempts, and that'll cause more things to be on the field that'll help you out. Oh, there are tasks. Yes. Okay. Clear two regions with no collisions, one round. Okay. Yep. That's so. This happen. is a endless runner. Mm -hmm. Well, somewhat, yeah. It might have an endpoint, but uh, it's... I, I would imagine it has an endpoint since deep. there's a level editor. Uh, also, the first level did look the same both times, so... Mm -hmm. So there you go, your first uh, pickup that'll let you have more endurance. Things you can grab for extra time. So it's an endless runner that you kind of level up over time mm -hmm. and just are able to get farther and farther. Okay. Whoop. And of course, unless you're consistently grabbing speed boosts and energy pickups and other such things, eventually the sun will set and that puts an end to your run. Okay, daylight extended. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, and you can crash into stuff, but I'll, like if you run into something sideways, it's not an instant kill. Yes. I like the visual style. See, this is kind of minimalism mm -hmm. done correctly. Yeah. Cubes. I like it too. Be aware of cubes. A lot of cubes. A lot of windmills. It's simple yet pleasant. Yeah. Shit, I missed that extension. Oh! There we go. Especially when you consider the last game we looked at that had a lot of cubes and such. It was... <laughs> Please don't remind me. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Clear one regions in around, I can handle that. Oh, this is kind of nice. I'm okay with this. Yeah, this looks cool. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about the, doing this too is it really makes me appreciate good games over really unbearably bad ones. <laughs> what are you talking about? Neighbors, Neighbors from Hell was fucking immaculate. Yeah, no. Game was... of the year, 1998. Yeah, and especially because it came out in 2003. Four. Actually, it came out in four, and then it got ported over to North America in 2006. 
the long awaited yeah it needed yeah it needed an american (laughs) release that was thanks obama actually 2004 that was bush would it have been they polished the game a lot deep bush time it was the smack in the middle of bush too yeah that was that was mid bush I can't believe you had to stop the war in Iraq just to get mo- neighbors from hell. <laughs> in the end, That's I think it was, was worth about, it. Actually, Tano, for some reason I had 2004 and 2008 mixed up, which is quite a difference in time. But hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, time is meaningless when you're playing neighbors from hell too. I mean, mm-hmm. and I mean, the there, there's a reason why there's right. such a big. Uh, a uh, communication problem between the U.S. and Russia. I mean, the U.S. is obviously very, very jealous of how many more Neighbors from Hell games Russia has. I think Russia we actually has. are the Neighbors the from Hell. The embargo on the Neighbors from Hell games <laughs> preventing them from visiting the rest of the world. See, that's why Ukraine wants to join... That's why half of Ukraine wants to join Russia. They appreciate neighbors from hell, and the other half just doesn't. <laughs> and they are the neighbors from hell. <gasps> is this art? <laughs> Have we gone back into art? <laughs> this is fuck. Hard. I'm hey. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Stream over. Not this shit again. Everyone, you know how much I. Whoa! I just ran into a whale. Be very careful around whales. Region 3 is ramping up. Mm. Shit is getting real in Region 3. Sunlight intensifies. Yeah, there's Rip. a huge thing now, actually. I just saw them crashing into the whale. Oh. Yeah. But at least that whale gave you mad ups, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, Thanks isn't that what And now you're. Left? If that was made in 2004, we had Unreal Tournament 2004 that existed. We had Half-Life 2 in 2004. Wow, okay, that puts that in perspective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus I mean, Christ. really, everybody and is... And we're still past- waiting for episode 3, 10 years later. <laughs> That's okay. just never Episode 3, you. Neighbors from Hell, where is it? We're still I waiting. I figure my shit. Uh, it's in Russia. <laughs> I want to know how this. the Neighbors from Hell saga ends. Uh, now you can configure, bet, unlock extras you can glue onto the ship. I bet Gordon Freeman would be a terrible neighbor. <laughs> Never says hello. Just stares at you. Opens yeah. dimensional box. crawling around in my ventilation. Out. Okay, I, I wanted to just die there because I used my jump wrong and was sad. Oh. No. Yeah. Sad son. I'm just sad. You got jump and magnet, Andy. Yeah. The magnet does not seem to be very magnetic. It's just a little magnetic. Just a whittle bit of mag- magnet. Yeah, whittle bit magnet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I jumped too late. Nope, that didn't work out. Yeah, I can dig this game. Mm-hmm. I would get this if I saw it on sale at some point. Or yeah, how much is it? Right I think it's on sale right now for what, two fifty? I think? Yeah, That's pretty good. Oh, well, I'm completely out of money at the moment, so <laughs> please donate to my Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> please donate to uh, my donation button underneath the stream. That's just the give me money button. That's all it is. I'm not gonna make you give money every month. I'm fucking no better than that shit. I don't deserve that. You can just give me money though. That's cool. I'm down. Also, just give me money too. Last time I got money, it was 69 cents to never play art again. Support me. <laughs> that was the best donation. Support me at the hundred dollar per month level, and I will insult you at the beginning of every video. Yeah, I'll make fun of you for being an idiot who gave me money. <laughs> Can I get multiple? Oh, you can only store one jump. Okay. Maybe that's not great to store more jumps. It might be something you can upgrade later, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unlock. Oh, you can jump midair. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it'd ever be useful, but you can. I just wanted everyone to be aware. Yeah. Oh! 
And I tried jump. to get. I tried jump. to get cool. I'm sorry. I tried to get fancy, and that's what happens when you get fancy. If you were, if you were in a zone that had a whole lot of garbage going on that you just wanted to not deal with, then uh, then getting a whole lot of airtime would probably help with that. Yeah. This one doesn't look like the obstacles were getting taller mm -hmm. as I was getting farther into the game. Oh god, I'm getting all wiggly. There we go. Finally, I did the thing I've been trying to do. You got a courage for wobble. Mm-hmm. Yeah, momentum canceling. An advanced technique. I'm glad this supports controller, because I don't think I would like this at all with a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Then again, I'm a controller baby. You and your analog. Yeah, I'm king controller bab. Well, because like I can do tiny movements and slight adjustments. Yeah, racing games and such like this usually work better on a controller because of the <laughs> the the more precise movement. <laughs> aside from. <laughs> Now I'm just look, waiting to see what the fuck just happened. Oh man, I got an achievement for colliding with four objects. <laughs> or, I mean, that's a, that's a thing Good I need job. to do. Let me just let me just do that. You have a mission to collide, cro touch everything you can. Did I get all four? Did that count? Yes, I did a good job. <laughs> We need new F-Zero already. I, I can get behind that. I'm never huge on the F-Zero games, but I can see why people are. I haven't played them in a long time, though. I tried I... the GameCube one when I was a wee tot and remember being mad at how hard it was. <laughs> I would like uh, F-Zero just a lot, lot more if I could play it in the arcade, because the arcade version is the best version. Really? Yeah. Because, um, like, I think it was AX at least. It's one of those arcade things where you sit in its chair and a chair moves along with you. Oh, man. On stage. Oh, wow. That would be fucking yeah. sick for F Zero. Yeah, it's, for a game it's like really F Zero. Good, and I can't cool. play F Zero on GameCube now thanks to that anymore. <laughs> that sounds fucking insane considering how the tracks are in F Zero. Yeah, it's it's really good, but it's kind of a shame too, because I remember F Zero AX uh, kind of being rare in arcades. I've... There's a Mario Kart game in arcade in an arcade by where like it's, there it's are like a Walmart two. store. They there are two, and it's really weird because it also stars uh, characters from Pac Man. What? I don't. Yeah, think... I I played that one. The one I have, it has seats, but I don't think they're moving seats, or else I would actually totally do yeah, it. Yeah, they're not moving oh, seats, but it, it's still, you can still play as Pac-Man and Blinky <laughs> and Inky and... <laughs> oh god, yeah, I love, I'm really excited to play as Inky. You so... gotta be, if you're gonna be a ghost, you gotta be Clyde. That's true. Clyde and, supremacy. Is it Clyde the Clyde's orange one? a rebel. I feel what? like, is Clyde the orange one? I think so. That they decided to make fat for Pac-Man in the Ghostly <laughs> Adventures or whatever that awful cartoon oh, was. Oh man, I'm a meme. Well, they have names. <laughs> what? Right, let me go. Let me go look at Clyde's page on the Pac-Man oh, wiki here. So yeah, someone Pac tell me Pac-Man in the Ghostly <laughs> Adventures. Is he the fat orange one? Uh, I. He's think Clyde so, is the orange yeah. ghost. Okay, good. Chad, I don't. Uh, Chad, how do you feel about Pac-Man: The Ghostly Adventures it's, and how it's such a good I, game? I will answer that. Oh man, I'm a meme. Is that really a thing that's said? Yes, that's a thing that Pac-Man becomes large and floats in the sky and, and says, "Oh man, I'm a meme." <laughs> how is he a meme? <laughs> <laughs> that's how. How is that a meme? Because he gets recorded. Because he gets what? Because he gets recorded. Oh, someone sees it and then he becomes really popular on the internet. Yeah, he becomes viral. Yeah, he goes viral that's, and people... That's literally the plot of an entire Pac-Man and Ghost the Effects episode. That <laughs> sounds awesome, actually. It sounds I, I awesome, might have to watch it's, that. Oh, yeah, Clyde. No, Clyde no, I have the... It's actually <laughs> really... Like, it's not even funny bad. It's just... Aww. Aww. That's unfortunate. 
Oh yeah, Clyde is the cowardly one of the four original Build ghosts. Me up and knock me right back down, man. I'll put it right back. Yeah, his, his behavior setup is he chases you until he gets within eight squares of you, and then he tries to flee in terror from you. Classic Clyde. He's all about zoning. Yeah, he's the zone control character. Of it is interesting. The, 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 the AI hopes. scripts for Pac-Man are kind of interesting in how they use very simple rules to create a fairly elaborate spread of behaviors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when is the Pac-Man MOBA? 